grace and peace to you on this Memorial Day. I'm standing in front of uh, one of the stained glass windows in our church here at St. Peter's. This is a, a stained glass window of the Crusader. Uh, it has a verse from Psalm 11 in the window. In thee, Lord, put I my trust. And this window was given to the glory of God and loving memory of James Claude Bedingfield Jr., First Lieutenant Army Air Corps. Uh, James, or Jimmy, uh, was born July 18, uh, 1920, and Jimmy died August 7, 1943, um, in a plane crash near Dodge City, Kansas. Jimmy was on a training mission. Um, when the plane crashed and he and several others in the plane died. And so this, this window was given by his parents and uh, to the glory of God and the loving memory of um, their son, Jimmy. And so this is in our church and many of us know uh, folks, loved ones who died in, um, in the uh, performance of their military duties and not just Jimmy, but many others. And so I would invite you on this Memorial Day to join me in a prayer uh, for those um, who served heroically. Let us pray. O judge of the nations, we remember before you with grateful hearts the men and women of our country who in the day of decision ventured much for the liberties we now enjoy. Grant that we may not rest until all the people of this land share the benefits of true freedom and gladly accept its disciplines. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.